Yes. So recently, I was in Wichita, Kansas, and I met a pastor named Millard who, who uh, told me a story. He said, do you remember when your kids were little and they would try to help you with something and they would just make a mess? And, 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 and he would just kind of let them make that mess. And he said, that's how it must look from God's perspective. We try to do his work in the world and sometimes we make a mess in the process, yet he is patient enough with us to let us do it anyway. He knows we are going to learn and grow, but he also knows that we are going to mess things up from time to time. Like a patient parent, he knows it's all a part of us learning and growing, and he isn't going to shortcut that process for anything. There is often a uh, misunderstood concept called free will. Now, free will allows for us to make our decisions in our lives for better or for worse. One thing you should understand is that different faith traditions see the idea of free will in different ways. So if you don't exactly line up with this idea, if you disagree with my words, that's okay. We humans are way too complex to see eye to eye on every single idea. And sometimes we just have to see things different from time to time. We have to accept that we aren't always going to always see everything the same. So let's get back to what Pastor Millard was telling me. If we accept that we are imperfect and we have to accept we have free will. Those two concepts of imperfection and free will are going to collide and create times where we mess up. Sometimes the consequences are things we experience and sometimes we hurt others in the process. When we accept our imperfection can hurt others, then we have to naturally conclude that the imperfection and the free will that we work within are the same free will and imperfection that others work within too. 1 John 4 contains these words that challenge us to do something that counters our natural tendencies. It says that we should bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Jesus has the power to forgive and he grants and encourages us to do the same. So Pastor Millard, thank you for stopping to share that thought with me. Our meeting was totally random. But I'm so glad that we had that quick conversation. And dare I say, it was ordained in the moment when I needed it. To those watching, I hope Millard's words will cling to your spirit long enough for you to see an opportunity where you have made a little mess. Or maybe somewhere someone made a little mess around you. I hope his story helps you to see that there are opportunities to seek forgiveness from others and extend forgiveness where needed. Something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.